All right, here we have a, a, a traditional fiberglass tub. I'm gonna install a clean cut mod to this. And what happens is, is we just cut this out here and uh, down and put this insert in so that uh, people that can't step up and over can uh, get in and out of the tub a whole lot easier. Now, they won't be able to use their tub like they traditionally would. They would have put a little bit of water into it, but not a full bath. Um, but uh, this is a good option, um, pretty cost effective. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to make sure that your tub can uh, handle this kit that I'm using, um, basically it's it's the size of this template where we're going to cut. And so you can see kind of where that will be. You can kind of place it where you want. I'm going to try to go towards the middle there. And uh, this uh, top rail uh, can't be any more than six inches at the widest point. The bottom can't be any more than seven and a half inches. So we are definitely able to use this mod, this kit. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Here we're going more towards the back end of the tub because the toilet is on the front side. And I don't want to go back any more than this based on where that lip and everything is going to be. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do this right here. And uh, you just tra this, trace this uh, template that comes with it. And uh, just draw that all the way. We'll do the top edge. And all this will be covered. So whether we cut it completely or not, it'll be all covered when we're done. You can do that. And then you flip it. Line up your lines like so. And do that again right here. We are all ready to cut this section <gasps> of the tub out. Got to make sure you're right on this one. We don't want to make a wrong cut. Kind of can't put it back. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, start some cutting. Let's go ahead and cut this top line. Love that fiberglass smell. Love it. And on this, they recommend taking a grinder, grinding a little slot. We might grind more than that, but we'll see. Let's get that grinder ready. All right, went ahead and got the, uh, well, I guess some ear protection on, got this grinder. We're gonna go ahead and get a couple cuts started here so we can, uh, we can cut that out with the reciprocating saw. not for the faint of heart. There it is. Right there. Wow. Hallelujah. Nice. Woo! I would say that's probably the harder part of this job. Huh. Let's start putting this thing in, get it cleaned up, ready. Awesome. Let me clean it up. now is we're going to get ready for this insert and uh, this is the insert and right now it's all solid and it needs to sit right down in there and so what they want me to do I went and took that template that I, I started when I first traced that line I cut it in half and I'm going to just lay that on this one and this one we're going to call we're going to call right and that'll be towards the inside of the tub and now I'm just going to trace on the outside of that cardboard on both sides of that, around and around. And that's gonna give me the exact cutout that I need that I will transpose on this on this side here of that unit. We'll cut that thing out. I wanna cut this cardboard so it's just this, and then I'll be able to uh, cut that out here, which will slip right on there. So uh, we got right there, I wanna mark it here too, uh, right side, and of course that would be in, in. So we have that one done. And we know this is the outside, it's got that emblem. And that's what we're going to keep for the outside on that. Take this other cardboard, and uh, we are going to do the exact same thing here. And uh, we're just going to place that cardboard right up like that. We're going to draw that line all the way around it, all the way around it. And I'm going to do this one to be the left side. The left side, that's in. The left, left side, that's in. And so now... I can cut that out 
and then we can transpose that uh, transpose that to this guy and then we can cut it out so let's go ahead and get ready uh, to do that take this uh, guy this will be the right side I'm gonna cut this out now it says of course use scissors but I don't have any scissors with me so we're just gonna use tilde knife Like so, outside, inside, right, and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we're gonna center that. Make sure you can see that from the top of you here. We're gonna center that cardboard right on there. Put that up here a little bit. We're gonna center that right on here. The bottom's the bottom, nice and centered. And uh, we're gonna trace it. There it is. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing to oh, let's do this. to the left side. Okay, now I flipped I flipped my thing around. So this is the outside. Yeah, outside. This is the inside. So we are going to just like the other one. Center this on here. And this one's going to look a little bit different. Remember, because we didn't have the template uh, or the uh, cutout completely in the center of this tub. We actually moved it down this way. So we do have, it's a little bit different. And uh, that's good. That's why we do each side separately. And they let you cut this thing out so you have a perfect match to your tub cutout. So we're just going to roll our line around here like so. And then what we do is... We are going to connect cut to cut on this bottom line. So we got that there. We got that there. We're going to connect those lines. And then we are going to cut. So I'm going to use this other cardboard here to uh, do my connecting. All right. I'm going to grab my jigsaw. And then the next step on this will be that we jigsaw everywhere that that line is, pull that cutout out, and then this piece ought to slip right on top. Now, of course, before we do that, we have to do some other work, but uh, this will at least get this part finished up. This uh, blade cannot be any more than two inches, and that's because of the depth here. And so, all right, so we got our cuts here done, and now we're gonna cut here, and then the other side, and pull this uh, this piece out. clean this guy up this is the outside that thing should fit on there wow it does pretty good actually Uh, in the instructions was you don't put this thing at the bottom you actually come all the way up here um, about a half inch from the top is what it says actually be like that yeah, it's perfect. okay so what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and move that up because what's happening is this lip my down here at the bottom the overlap isn't enough and it needs to be and so what I need to do is just go ahead and uh, move this down a little bit and uh, Trace this out. Trace this out here. 
think that looks not bad. Actually, I'd like to come over here a higher. There we go. And then I'm going to have to saw that out. Yeah, see, it's about that much. And that's going to make a huge difference on how it sits down. And then we're going to have to do a little adjustment even past that. But this guy, yeah, he would have sat like that. He needs to be up more along those lines. About a half inch down is what they're saying. And I'm going to go ahead and trace this as well. And then we'll just re jigsaw that out. If you're going to make a mistake, that's a good one to make because it's one that you can recover from. And uh, that is good on that end. So we got that. That'll look about right. Look about right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut that part out with the jigsaw. I will say this uh, fits much better. You can see that contour is perfect, perfect. On this other side, oh, that, that's it. That's what I needed. I had a huge gap down here. That, that's fixed. Okay, that feels pretty good over here. But I will say, you can see down here now, right here I need to cut this out because that, uh, that tub comes out. And so same thing there. So that's what we gotta do right now. Is get that all measured up and, uh, and cut. So, let's see if I can get this. Okay, that work. See that? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this pencil because I have to contour that, and uh, it's gonna start about right here, and probably come out to about right there. I just need to get that actually more down like that, and then over. Yep. Take that over here. I'll start right there over to there and we'll see because that goes the duration I really need to just cut that lip all the way so that it can hang out a little bit there Wow that should be oh much better all right that side's done and I gotta do the same thing to that side all right, we've got a good fit now, and uh, you'll be able to see that crack all along there is good. All along here, all along that side, and then to that side, looking good, top, over. That's what you want, right there. And uh, pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy, but what they want done now is, is this uh, step in here, is what they want to, uh, support that. Now, inside here on my installation, I have this wood that kind of holds that, which does support the tub that uh, people stand in. Um, and although, let's see, the fiberglass does go down. What they want though, they want some wood blocks here so that the support actually is on the floor so that when this is here, the support isn't just on this. And so we're going to cut, I got some two by, uh, treated two by six. I'm going to cut and put in those places. And then we'll put this in, get this all right where it's just under here. And then we're able to set that in place and uh, adhesive slash seal it in. All right, going to go cut some wood. Okay, this uh, bottom piece I needed here is 28 inches, but... I am not going to get 28 piece in there, piece. so I'm going to put this section in first, hopefully it'll fit. Use a little smaller piece here to hit. Perfect. That's going to go in and give me support all the way in there. And then I'm going to take this piece here and uh, that'll make up my 28. As it goes under here, like that with the tap two. Okay, so I got that in there, that to cover. So we got that laying in there, and then I got an eight inch piece, which I'm gonna set right there. 
this is a piece which will set right there. That is awesome. And then we got these things here, which I may only get one. I don't know. Let's see. Nope, that's not going to be tall enough. So this is the smaller one. And it's actually designed to go into this one as far as needed um, to support this step. All right. So we got our uh, adhesive that came with it, Sure Bond, and it's saying now that we got our wood done. Ow! That hurt. Go ahead and pull out the fiberglass out of my finger, right under my fingernails. I think that's a torture, potential torture thing. Good night. That was quite the shard all the way in my finger. Nice, nice. Okay, we're going to try not to repeat that right there. Reach down in here without getting shalammed. And uh, that uh, bottom one, we're going to be fine with that. We're just going to put a little, a little bit of adhesive here to hold that wood from sliding around. Nice. Let's do the same thing here with uh, this guy. Won't take much. Won't have much, much side to side on that for sure. There we go. Now. We're gonna do on this guy. We're gonna have to reset him, and so we're gonna take this little guy back out. And I am gonna put a little bead here, so that as that big one slides, or this thing slides into the big one, it will smear that and make a good seal. That's what they say to do anyway. So let's see here, and we're going to just lightly put that back in there because we want that step to tell us our our uh, dimension here. So we're going to put that back down like that, take our, take our step, yep, it's contacting, push that all the way down, bring that back, and that is where that thing is supposed to be, right there. Now, just put a couple screws in there. As recommended, so as we're assembling it. I believe that went like that. That looks right. Let's check it. Oh, that's perfect. Man, that feels solid. Solid. I like it. It actually said, just to be sure, to put a bead like that all the way around it. So that already has sort of a bead. So, might as well follow that little tidbit of instruction so that this thing doesn't slide around. We're going to stick some of this stuff, piece of sealant on the bottom of this, so that as it rides on that wood down there, it'll uh, it'll adhere and not be apt to scoot. Houses do have vibrations in them, weird movements, so this will definitely help it to stay put. We want it to stay put so that that step gets some support. Oh yeah, right like that. Feels good. Now what they want. They want this uh, perimeter warmed up so that the adhesive uh, better seats and cures. So, they say be very careful, which I would probably agree with that. And so we're just gonna use just a small flame here. It's a butane torch, this is propane. Um, we are just gonna use this to just kinda heat that up a little bit. So now everything is good. Got all my glue adhesive where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and 
put this down on there. Get a look from this side as well. See where this thing is sitting really, really nicely. Really, really nicely. And now it says to go ahead and take some isopropyl alcohol, get some on a rag, and we're just wiping down all the mating surfaces where we're going to put our adhesive sealant. Ready to seal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the sealer on here. It's an adhesive sealer, and uh, the cleanup with it is uh, is a mineral spirits or naphtha, so it is not water based. It is uh, oil based. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Don't don't uh, be too excessive with it. And uh, let's go ahead and just try to apply just a little bead here, just to see how we're doing. Yeah, looks good. Come down here. Hit this side. You know, it's not water based. If you do watch your finger, you can maybe keep a little bit off of it. Give it a little smoother flow as it goes. Oh, that looks really good. I'm going to leave that. Come around here. Hit this side. Oh, yeah. Push a little more in that way. Put a little pressure on it. There we go. Looks good. We're going to keep working that all the way around. And that will be how we finish this thing. All right. One nifty thing that came with this kit is this uh, angle angle caulk tip. This will be nice for that uh, those areas down here. So we're going to put some caulk right there in that area. So this just fits over that caulk tube like that. And then uh, you put that in here and then you just uh, squeeze that up through. You can kind of see it working its way up. There it is. And now, there we go. That one's all done. I got to do that inside. Once that inside's done, I think we're going to call this one a winner winner chicken dinner. It's good. Hey, well, I am all finished up with this one. Uh, first time ever doing this, it was totally doable. Uh, but uh, I would say definitely need to have some uh, previous experience in const some construction type things. But it's doable. It was worth it. And uh, I would probably do it again. Very, very, very solid, very sturdy. And uh, looks like it's going to work well. So um, anyway, if you're in for a, a treat, go ahead and give that a shot. But uh, I think you'll... You'll uh, find that it's, it's quite the process, but uh, we are done and uh, wrapping this one up. Thank you.